Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be reviewing the Makeup Revolution. This is the Ice Palette. Um, this is going to be a three-part series. I have this palette. I have Blue Blood. So we're going to be looking at them individually and then the final video will be the two of them side by side. So in this video we are going to be looking at the Ice Palette by Makeup Revolution. Um, before we get started, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. Make sure your notification bell is on so you get alerted every time I post new videos. And yeah, we're just going to so jump if you're into the not familiar with this, uh, Makeup Revolution has these forever flawless palettes that are $15. 18 shades so it is the same number of pans as Jeffree Star's Blue Blood and Blood Sugar palettes. Um, very similar color scheme but it's not identical. Is it good? Um, we're going to find out. So to start off I am going to swatch all of these shades and I'll be right okay. back. Now I swatched them on my arms. I'm going to go down and I will tell you the names. I will say the mattes do not swatch very good. We have Break, Glacial, Ocean, Drench, Freeze, Titanic, Icicle, Arctic, and Icy. Those are the first nine. Then we have Immerse, Frostbite, Crystal, H2O, Melt, Iceberg, Glass, Cool, and Climate. Like I said, the, the shimmers aren't bad. Um, there is some staining, which is a good sign that there's some stain power with some of these shades, but yeah, the mattes, um, do not swatch very good but let's jump into the demo and I will do a look on we're gonna do the left eye so we'll be okay. right back and I'm just gonna jump right in and then at the very end I will swatch the shades that I used on my hand Okay, so I did liner and mascara, and this is the finished look. And I'm gonna put the colors on the back of my hand. So we did Iceberg, Arctic, Ocean, Icicle, Cool, and a little bit of immerse we'll put that up there so those are the shades that are all over my lid now do I think that this is a bad palette no I don't like I said the mattes um, don't swatch the best but you can build them up so I think this look came out really pretty um, and so overall I don't think that this is a bad palette and for $15 um, it's definitely way cheaper than Blue Blood, so I don't think it's a bad deal if you're wanting a blue palette. Um, I think this is a good option. 
So yeah, um, definitely make sure you are subscribed because you won't want to miss out on the Blue Blood review and then also the side-by-side -side comparison. So yeah, definitely make sure you're subscribed. Um, thank you everybody so, so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in part two.